Our next step is to add cross bracing for extra support in our structure. To accomplish this, we need to use our bracing tools which show up up here underneath the structure tab. So go ahead and come up here and select on brace. Once you've done that, you'll see that we have different kinds of steel metal shapes over here on our type selector list. What probably came up as being the default, which is this HSS 6x6, that's probably the one that we'll want to use. So let's go ahead and just select on that. Next, and this is probably the critical part, we need to be able to select on the correct points when placing this cross bracing. In fact, I would say from my own personal experience, this has been one of the most difficult things to learn about Revit structure is where to click in order to be able to place these cross bracings. Now, what I like to do is come in here and then if I want to cross brace, it comes from this intersection up to kind of up toward the middle here. I like to move down here and what you'll be very tempted to do will be to click right here or maybe click right here. But the best place to click is going to be up here, right about here, sort of in the middle where this blue dash line or this blue line ends up showing up and that little purple box shows up. So go ahead and just select right there, come up here, and then kind of pick right in the middle of this particular beam that shows up here and then click. And now you can see how that cross bracing piece is coming up and it's sort of tying in and right the location where you're gonna want it to be at. If we tried clicking down here or up here or in any other location that wasn't kind of in the center of where these beams are currently located at, it would put this cross bracing in at an odd angle or crossed over where this beam was at and it just wouldn't have cleaned up right inside of the software. So let's go ahead and do that again over here on the right hand side. Move over, click where this little box shows up right here, which is lined up with the middle of this beam, and then come up here where you see the little triangle, which is the midpoint of that beam, go ahead and click. And you can see how it automatically puts the cross bracing in and cleans it up so it happens to be the appropriate length. Cross bracing is perhaps most easily added in framing elevations. The process of creating the bracing is easy enough. We execute the command and then tell Revit the locations we would like the beams to join to, and then Revit does the rest.